a lot of clever men, but the ordinary head can take them down a peg. Whilst they're laying down the law, the old chicken in the straw sits her down and she lays an egg. That's all. She lays up a new laid egg. But could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. Could Ramsey Mack and the other clever men do the same as the poor old hen? The hen lays an egg and nobody has ever said that it was wonderful or marvellous or clever, but could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. <laughs> Now the ordinary cat takes pills upon the mat without the aid of knives and its songs upon the tiles can be heard for 30 miles and it also has nine lives, that's all, with perhaps 2,000 wives. But could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no! Could Peckham Rye or even Shepherd Bush do the same as the sweet little puss? The cat eats a life that has nothing else but clover, but with his little tongue he can wash himself all over, and could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Goldwyn do it? Why, no! Like a little fly, jazzing round the apple pie, or your bacon, nice and brown. When you slot him with a fork, he will fly away and walk on the ceiling, upside down. He walks on the ceiling, upside down. But, could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. Could Wellington or Napoleon Bonaparte? Sit for two hours in the raspberry car. You swear at the fly and you glare just like a trooper, but that wouldn't stop him sitting on the face of Gladys Cooper. And could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no! In the wilds of Africa, with his tail up in Ra, the ostrich roams the dales. For a fortnight he will stand with his head stuck in the sand and he eats horseshoes and nails, that's all, with perhaps a few zinc tails. But could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. Could Henry Ford, out in Oshkosh Mitch, eat horseshoes like the poor ostrich? It's only a bird, and it's ugly, and it's skinny. But on its fluffy part, it grows a feather worth a guinea. And could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why not?